I'm Tom Hampton. Um, I'm coming to you here from, from the United States where I've been working in a number of different scientific realms as in bioinformatics related to cystic fibrosis and to the toxicology of arsenic. And I'm here uh, the day after a, a successful thesis defense uh, here at the University of Birmingham. It, it was really a complicated but very natural choice as it turns out because my thesis advisors are people that I had known uh, before they had a big uh, relationship with the university. So John Colburn um, and Joe Shaw, my, my advisors on this project, are people that I knew through working with the Dartmouth Superfund in the United States. And it turned out that I needed to advance myself in, in my home uh, institution. Uh, I really kind of needed a PhD, and the question was, how is this going to work? And I was actually teaching a course with John and Joe, and they floated the idea. They said, well, hey, we have this cool new program of distance learning PhD. You should think about that. And I was delighted. I said, that sounds like it would really work for me because I have ties to my home, to my children, and things that would, it would have made it very difficult for me to simply stop all of the collaborations that I had at home um, to just sort of drop out to become a graduate student. So I was able, using this program, I was able to continue my work on, on the, the research that I had been doing before while I was getting my, my degree here. It worked out very well for me, partly because I like to communicate chunks of thought as email, because I like a record of what I'm saying. And then when people respond to me, I like also to get a record back. And both John and Joe were, were good at getting back to me and, and raising issues and making suggestions and, and saying, OK, yeah, that looks like a good idea, or that's maybe not a good idea. So that works pretty well. In addition, we did use um, also the sort of video chat type things from Skype to later go to meeting, and I visited too. But in my opinion, email is very powerful. So I would recommend it to anyone who's watching this, you know, to, to have that, that documented sense of a conversation with somebody. Fortunately for me, uh, the, the actual observations, uh, which you would say are wet bench type of things, were not a central, they were central to my research but they already existed before I started my program because my program is really about the analysis of data. It's a bioinformatics based degree. So basically I needed um, access to reasonable computation, access to the data, but most of the work I really could do on my laptop. I definitely will be staying with uh, the Dartmouth Superfund program and the, and the Dartmouth Lung Biology programs which really helped me do this program. I, I owe them a debt of gratitude. So I'll be doing that, and I believe I will be extending the scope of my activities in both of those programs, um, in, in sort of partly because of this degree. I have been embedded in a science community at home throughout this process. So whereas I may not have been running into John and Joe in the hall every day, uh, I was running into scientists morning, noon, and night and talking about the pursuit of science. So I was finding myself on many mornings of the week in, in, a, present, in a scientific presentation or giving a presentation. And, and that really helped a lot. I, I, I would say that this would be tricky if you were literally off by yourself um, Without, without exposure on a daily basis to other people in science. I think that would be tricky. So I was very lucky because that's just part of my life anyway.